What is good, Marble Squad, and welcome back to our channel. As you can see by today's title, we are about to get hit by a hurricane, Hurricane Milton. As a category five. It is gonna be a category five. They might say it might drop to a four. Either way, the winds are supposed to be over 150 miles an hour. It's reached up to 180, almost 200 in the ocean. Yeah. But we have the news out in the back. We have the shutters up around our house. Like, as you can see, the front door looks so dark. We literally have shutters on almost every window except these windows right here it is currently 1 15 in the afternoon today's wednesday and it's supposed to hit by midnight or 2 a.m tonight and we are going to be filming the entire entire thing so make sure to stay tuned and watch this video all the way through because we're going to document our first hurricane and this is going to be like one of the worst hurricanes somebody can go through and we hope that everyone that is going to be affected by this is staying safe mm -hmm. and we love you guys yeah hurricanes are not a joke luckily we are not in a flood zone but i'm telling y'all this is a very serious thing and i really really am praying for you all that are watching or anyone that is affected by this storm also if you guys didn't know we ended up taking down the fence let me oh show y'all really quick in the backyard oh my gosh this is our backyard and it's barely rained yet y'all as you can see our fence is literally taken down we took all of it down because that's the first thing that's gonna get blown away and destroyed yeah because uh, last time for hurricane ian our fence got totally ripped out our pool cage got ripped out yeah. and it literally destroyed homes but as you can see the backyard's already flooded that's from the first arm of the hurricane the hurricane's not even here yet that's from a little bit of rain like a band like the bands leading up to the hurricane yeah so currently on the screen you can see the hurricane hurricane is actually right here and trust me I know it looks broken up but it, it is a huge powerful 180 mile an hour storm we are located in this area it's supposed to come like right here but our like we are literally like going to be hit like we are literally in the the zone so if it moves a little bit to the right or whatever it does it could hit us harder or softer depending and on what it is there's a lot of tornadoes right now and there's been literally we've been on this tv for probably 20 minutes there's already been 20 tornadoes and it's already doing damage and the hurricane isn't even here like look at this is the hurricane y'all can literally see it this is where they this is where it's going y'all we are we live here we're literally watching the news with y'all right now. We don't know where the storm's gonna go. I literally, I know, I, I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly where we're located, but if you know, you know. If you know where we are, you know where we are. And we are literally, that. that is good if it stays on that path. Yeah. Because we're talking, if it stays on that path, we're only gonna get maybe 100 mile an hour winds instead of 150, which is a big difference. We should not be outside right though, but the hurricane is here. The class is already fogging up, watch the wind. So the winds have started. It is very windy as you guys just saw in that video. Oh. Our power just went out. Our power literally just went out for like the first time. I was like. Oh. Yo, that's crazy that you turned on the camera right Right now. as it was about to. The winds are picking Wait, up y'all. We have like T minus like, it, it, apparently it's supposed to hit at nine now instead of starting at 11 or 12. Okay. Apparently it's not supposed to hit really, really late now. It's supposed to start hitting around nine. It's six o'clock, we got three hours, and these winds are just from the headwinds of the hurricane, you know? Like, the actual hurricane winds aren't even here yet. And I don't know, I don't know if Mariah showed you outside, but those, like, look at the trees. Look at the trees over there. They're already going insane. There's no rain right now, this is just wind, because like I said, the hurricane hasn't actually touched down here. This is just the headwinds. So when the hurricane actually touches down, it's gonna be the wind, 10 times the speed of this, plus rain. Yeah, it's, cr it's That's gnarly. That's crazy. It is gnarly. And just as you saw, we're most likely not gonna have any power after the hurricane actually does it, because this is just, this is little. We did just get some update though, that uh, the storm is moving more north, and the eye, I do not think, is going to be hitting our neighborhood. It's gonna be hitting more closer to Tampa. So if you're in Tampa, and by the time you're seeing this, I know the storm's already passed, if you're seeing this, but I know there's gonna be millions without power and e either way i'm praying for y'all and i'm praying for it wherever it goes it could still turn and hit us dead on but looks like we're going to be getting the harsh outside but not like the like inside of the hurricane like we did with hurricane Ian. yeah this is already bad though the winds are terrible the only good part is the hurricane is moving fast it's at like 15 to 17 miles an hour which is how fast the storm's moving as it's screwing everything up, which is really good that it's picking up speed because that means it's gonna be over neighborhoods uh, not as long. You know, yeah. it's, it's gonna be quicker of a storm, even though it's still a But long we'll storm. give you guys an update later on tonight yeah. when the storm actually is here. I would say two, three hours, we're gonna get back on this camera, 
We're gonna show y'all what's going on. There's gonna be very minimal light outside. We might not have any power. We might just won't be on flashlights by then. So yeah. we'll keep you up, stay tuned, and wish us luck. We're going into it now. All right, we are back. It is currently, what time is it? The, the stove is out. Uh, 9.20. It is 9.20 and our power officially went out. I'm not smiling, by the way, because I, I love this. I hate this. Our power literally is, is out. Terrifying. We have been watching the, the power lines, the transformers blowing up all over our neighborhood. The storm is at a, a good category. Th Dude, the winds are so fast. Did y'all hear that? I'm literally watching like lights blowing up outside from the Transformers. Terrifying. Yeah, so the winds are, these have to be at least 100 mile an hour winds. Yeah. At least, at least right now. We're not getting hit, like I said, with the, with the actual center, but it is, it did like um, widen and get bigger. So we do have a bunch of lights up here. This is just the light that I'm filming with, but I'm not gonna keep it on for too long because this is all the light that we have. And like Mariah says, it's not even 10 o'clock yet and our power's out. And most likely from all the, the lines and the transformers that have been blowing up, babe, like our power probably won't be on for a couple of days. It's gonna take a long time for them to, to do anything. Days, you think? Yeah. It's crazy and it goes in and out. We get these fast gusts and stuff. Luckily, I think the whole house is holding up really well for now. I'm knocking on wood. But we do have all of these other lights, like I said, around our house. So we're able to at least kind of see and get through the night. We're probably not going to be doing much sleeping because it's kind of scary. I don't want to like, go to bed and anything happen, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep you updated. We'll come back in a little bit. Yep. And hopefully we have a better some update for you, but it is official. The power is out. I I, I want to prove it to y'all. I mean the, the whole neighborhood, but I'm not I'm not even messing around. Like like these switches were on and everything. So I mean our freaking our, our fridge is out. Like everything. I should probably not open that, but yeah. Oh my gosh, what a night. We did not film the the rest of the night. We tried sleeping. The uh, hurricane is over, y'all. We are so tired, and honestly, I'm so grateful because the uh, the worst of the hurricane, we actually slept through, and I woke up to not having any broken windows. I was very nervous about this window. Y'all, we literally, it was pitch black the entire night. We didn't know what to do. We were all hanging out, listening to the winds get worse and worse and worse and our whole power is still out. It's probably gonna be out for a couple days. We don't have any cell service. I can't call anybody. Like I can't even call my neighbor if I wanted to. So nobody knows where we are, or how we're doing and this and that. And I can't imagine like getting hit like as hard as like, you know, Tampa and everyone got and not having any cell service because nobody knows at all what is going on if they don't live here, uh, which is kind of crazy. But basically our plan today is, Mariah just went outside to go uh, check, check around the backyard and stuff. Our house seems all intact and okay. I'm glad that we took down the fence and we uh, we had the shutters because honestly, if we didn't have those front door shutters, I feel like those front doors would have blown. I'm not even kidding. Those things are like little panes of glass, but the plan today is I'm gonna uh, hop in the car, Jordan, and I think Mariah's gonna come and Meg, and then we're gonna go drive around and look at our home that we're building because if you did not know, we're building a home and we wanna see if it's destroyed now over there and they have to rebuild some things. And then we wanna meet up with my sister and her boyfriend and make sure they're okay. And like I said, nobody can really text or call or do anything. So we are kind of in the stand still right now, but my neighbor is on a generator right now. We haven't had power since last night when it, when it shut off when I was filming for y'all. And it, it's crazy. Luckily we have running, I think we have running water. I haven't even tried actually. Some, the part of a hurricane, sometimes they shut off the water because sometimes water lines at the water plants get uh, damaged and all the nasty surge and sewer and ocean water gets in the lines and they'll actually come into your house. Like it's nasty, you can't even drink it. And uh, sometimes you have to boil it because it's like contaminated with bacteria. That's what happened last time during Hurricane Ian. They shut off all the water, which was even more scarier. But yeah, we don't have power, so we're trying to keep the fridge shut. Luckily, the fridge is still kind of cold. And once we get back later, we're gonna turn on the generator and try to get some AC. But luckily, it's not, it's not that hot that here. There's supposed to be a satellite feature on iOS 18. For like a second, and then it said- And the satellite feature is not working. Another available satellite in six We should have bought Starlink, so then we can have satellite, or. Or some sort of dish because our family is probably freaking out because my yeah, mom was spam text me. Are you okay, okay? I was able, I literally, um, we had Mariah's old phone 
and I was able to call my dad. I don't know how. I was able to call him like 10 minutes ago, and that was the only person. Every call since has failed. So we just made it outside. There's some flooding in the background of the backyard. But all in all, our house stayed very, very much intact. The storm shutters we put up intact. If you can hear that sound, our neighbor's generator's on. We're gonna be going around town a little bit. We have to check out a couple houses, check out our buddy's house. We have, um, we have to check out our car to see if our cars are okay. And then, yeah, after that, we're gonna have to go to our lot, go to my parents' house and just do a bunch of that stuff. But hey, I'm glad I found this, babe. This is the cover to our water system. So stay with us for the rest of this video and let's go explore the town. It's not too terrible already, but I can only imagine there's probably some fences and some roofs and stuff that are definitely damaged. So we are currently opening up the garage manually so we can get the generator going. Yeah. Heavy? Need help? No, it's not that. Oh. It's not that heavy. It's just awkward. Oh yeah, get it in there. You guys just hear everyone on the road have their generators going. I know. Like you could just it's like They're such all a just so loud. I know. Yeah. But we're wheeling it back right now. Yeah. I'm excited. Hopefully this powers our AC. I don't know. Should we try that first? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we should though. I feel like we should just get the regular power on. We are filling the gas. Oh. oh. Hey, I'm trying my best. Oh, god. oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. I've never used one of these. Oh, we gotta clean that up. It'll evaporate. We're filling it up right now. It's our first time ever really using this. Funny so. story, I've never ran it on gasoline, only propane before. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a whole new ballpark, but at least I know how to run on propane if, if need be. Damn, how much gas does it need? A lot. Yeah, dang. So we're gonna attempt to start this thing. We never, like I said, started on gas, but we did fill it up and let's get the remote. Yes, it is a remote start. And- You have to put this in there first though? No, that's for the propane, that line, but after you start it. Oh. You don't want to plug it into your house. Remember, if y'all didn't remember, we uh, installed a generator outlet, so we're able to power our entire home. And it's funny, because our power is actually out, and it could be out for days. So that is why I did this, and it, it actually came in perfect timing. Yeah, it did. All right, open this up. That's gonna allow the gas to go into the motor, and then, Let's see. Try to flip the breaker. I think God for Bill, guys. So I don't know what I would do without him. Turn the battery on. Battery's good. He's my handyman. I think we're gonna try starting it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it's it. On gasoline. This is on. This is on. That's on. There's gas. All right. It was good. All right. You ready? Yes. I might have to flick this. So let's see. Is it gonna be loud? Oh! That scared me. I wasn't expecting it to go on right I now. Know. I'm gonna leave it run for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna plug it in. I just wanna break in the gas a little bit so you don't overload. It is a brand new generator. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, we are going to plug it in and see if it works, y'all. So I wanted to update y'all. If you did see uh, the short video I did, I know I didn't have a power inlet or invert switch or inlets, whatever switch uh, on here. I wanted to show y'all that uh, the main power is shut off. This is how you're supposed to do it. So this is the generator uh, outlet outside. Main power shut off. I'm able to flip this up and turn it on. So right now, all other breakers are off. Boom. The generator should be sending power to the whole board. Now all we have to do is Oh. Turn on breakers and see if it works. I'm gonna do the garage breaker first. Just make sure it works and I'll probably do the fridge next because we haven't had power and the fridge food will die if we don't, you know? Is the light on here? Uh, I can't tell. Oh, the Alexa's on. Oh. Oh yeah, the, the garage lights are off, so. Okay. And that's this one right here. Yep, all right. <coughs> so what do you want to do first, the fridge? Do the fridge. Fridge and... <coughs> Okay. You wanna go look? Oh, it's working. Yep, it's working, the fridge is working. Dude, and everything in here, everything in the freezer is literally melting. Oh. So thankfully we had this. So what should we do next? Can we try AC? We can try the AC, I'm just, I'm scared. Why? Technically, the generator is rated for 9,500 running watts. And when you first break in a generator, you never wanna go half over that. Well. Technically, this AC should only do like 4,000, under 5,000 running watts. So, I think we should be fine, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared, so, I'm gonna try it. You wanna try it? All right. You might hear the generator like dip a little. 
just nervous. That was it. That, see, did you hear that? Yeah. If it was able to start it, that was it. Should we go look? <laughs> Maybe we should try. All right, guys, let's see if it. I don't hear it. It's not. The compressor's not on outside, so I wonder. I don't know if it's gonna be able to start it. But regardless, we have that. We have this AC unit. We can plug in. Oh yeah. And start doing the house. We should start doing. We, we should, should do start that. doing that. So we need to plug in. I feel like I, I would be more happy if we just shut off the AC for now. Yeah. And plug this in and get all of our outlets running. Okay. So then we can start charging our phones and stuff. Okay. Forgive me if this video is all over the place right now. We are in a scramble. Our whole neighborhood still doesn't have power, but let me just give you a super quick 20 second recap of the day. We went around. We drove to our family's houses, our friends' houses. We checked on um, our lot. We did all the checking and all the making sure people are okay today. That is all good. We are all safe. We are all sound. But it is currently 24 hours into this storm. It's been about 27 hours since we've had power. So we're on day two of no power. We are going into tonight without power. But if you can hear that in the background, we... Uh, We've been running our generator all day. Sadly, our central AC doesn't work on the generator. I need to buy a, a, a part to make it work. So no, that's a good thing to know for next time. But we do have this mini AC unit. So what we did was barricaded ourselves in our room, not today, just right now. I hooked up our a small generator so I could show off the big loud one and uh, hooked up the small generator, put the AC into here, and now we have all of our kitties. Look at all them. I know it's gonna be super messy, y'all, but you have to understand, we are literally working with what we got, okay? Mariah is about to go to bed. We are both exhausted from the day. I took a nap, I never nap. I took a nap today. I am just happy that we have a little bit of AC. As you can see, I am sweaty. I've been like this the entire day. But good night, we will see you tomorrow. I wanna keep y'all updated with the exact situation. I forgot to tell y'all, and obviously you can already see, but our power is still out and our entire neighborhood is out. So we had over 160,000 people in our county without power today. By the end of the day, they were at 130. So they fixed 30,000 people's power in one day. I'm very, very hoping tomorrow we get our power back, but we don't, we, we really don't know. It could be another day. It could be another two days. I, I don't know, but we are exhausted. So we're going to head to bed with our kitties. Hopefully the generator stays running, but I'm just praying that we wake up to the lights on. If not, you know what? It will go on eventually. But good night. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, Marble Squad. As you can hear by the background noise, our generator's still running, and so are a thousand other generators in our neighborhood. This is the official two day update after Hurricane Milton has hit our town and basically all of Florida. I don't know if our power is going to go back on today. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be a week from now. I really don't know. I'm hoping it's today. They've done a lot of people. Like I said yesterday, they did 30,000 people out of 160,000 yesterday. So I'm hoping today they have a way better uh, plan in, in place since we are now on day two and they'll be able to actually do a lot more. Our linemen have been kicking butt and I want to say if you know a lineman and uh, if you are a lineman or you are dating one or one's in your family, like give them a big hug for us because we appreciate our linemen so much and if you don't know what linemen are, they're not a football player. It, it's not a position in football. There are actual men and women that go to service the electrical lines, the lines that are cracked, the lines that uh, the transformers blown up on, just a bunch of different things when it comes to electrical getting to your house. They are the ones that are restoring the power and we have over 50,000 of them in Florida and I just can't thank them enough. I know they're working around the clock. I know they're barely getting any sleep and I know they're doing a great job. So we are crossing our fingers, our power comes on soon, but I did want to tell y'all, dude, appreciate all I'm in because they are the reason why they, the houses stay lit. <laughs> like at the end of natural disasters, it's crazy the amount of support that these people come together and uh, they get the job done. But with that being said, we are almost out of gas. Our generator has been running for about two days now on and off and we are almost out of gas already. So my buddy said there's apparently gas at a nearby station. If you did not know, our whole town has been out of gas gas trucks can't come in there's so many trees and power lines down on the uh, expressways and on the main roads I think they have it all cleared by now so gas should be starting to come in but my buddy did say that there is gas down the road so we're going to hope and pray 
that we do find some gas so we can keep our generators running and we can keep our cars full of gas uh, for the little places that we can go. But crossing our fingers, power comes on today and let's go find some gas. There's no way we got this lucky. The absolute first gas station I stopped at had gas. I just filled up two five gallon buckets. Let me leave the gas station. I'll talk to you guys a little more. There's so many people here trying to get gas. Barely any gas stations have gas. I think this one just got like a brand new load or something like a truck must have just came and dropped off gas because they were fully stocked and I cannot believe that we caught it at that exact right moment. I was able to fill up two gas tanks and I was able to fill up the rest of my car. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to drive around and see if there's like a McDonald's or a Dunkin' or, or some food place open that I can get some semi-fresh food because the food that's been in our fridge has been going in and out without power and it's not bad, but I wanna try to find something because Megan and Mariah are currently at my house too. And I just, I feel like we all need like a good warm meal from somewhere. If y'all can see all of these electric trucks, these are actually a bunch of our linemen that are like on break. And like I said earlier, the linemen have been working their butts off. There's literally parking lots full of them everywhere. I think it's crazy of how many trucks there actually are here and how many people's power is still out. That just shows how in just the outskirts not even like the center of the hurricane we got hit by the outskirt of the hurricane which was still over 100 mile an hour winds but it wasn't as bad as other towns got and there's still that much out here so geez it's just crazy also a little update mcdonald's line was two hours long for the drive-through and i will not be waiting in that i will be wasting more gas than it would take to get food so i think it's insane that people are willing to wait two hours and unless they didn't have food, like the grocery stores are open today. I just passed one, there are grocery stores open. I just think it's insane. I would not wait in a drive-through when I could just make food at home and save gas, especially in a time when we're like depleted of gas so much. And like they could just walk inside, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you don't have to sit in your car through the drive-through. Like I would rather walk inside McDonald's rather than wait. It still might be a half hour wait, but you know, at least you're not wasting gas like that. Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm a sweaty mess, but we have amazing news. Our power is back on. Our power is back on, baby. She literally woke up to all the power being like off and she's like, what's going on? And I said, I shut the generator off because our neighbors just screamed that our power came back on our neighborhood. We officially have power and then our Wi-Fi followed it by like 20 minutes. So it just, it makes me realize like how grateful you are to have the things you have when you have it. And I pray for everybody that doesn't <clears throat> have power yet. Yeah. And I hope that, you know, everything just gets cleaned up and fixed really quick yeah because, we're fortunate that yeah. like only after two days we got our power back on like we you know we didn't know if it was going to be a week or not so for all of y'all that are out here whenever you're seeing this i hope y'all staying safe i hope y'all uh, are getting back to the norm and you know just you know fixing up everything cleaning up it's, it's definitely going to be a process we've been through it before so we totally have our hearts out to everyone that it's going to take a lot longer mm -hmm. to you know finally get, get back to normal i literally just showered after like two days because like the water was really cold and oh my gosh i feel so good to well, just like refresh even after like you don't even know if you can use the city no water. i know sometimes after hurricanes bust lines and like like all the nasty ocean sewer water yeah, gets in our water, use the water so, so everything is good though here so uh we're probably gonna add out the video here i know it's been all over the place but i'm excited to show y'all what we've been doing the past couple days a little bit behind the scenes of what you would normally see from us once again we love y'all thank you so much for watching be safe and we will see you in the next video but until then peace, peace. Love, love you guys, guys.